Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Fioleno TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. Now, for the second time in a row, Oparanya has continued to deliver messages jokingly to William Samoy Ruto about bad governance. Kuwa moja wapo kwa baraza la mawaziri. Na wewe vile unajua mimi kazi nitafanya. Na pia unipe nafasi ya kufanya kazi. Unajua kama unalifika mikono hivi, pangine tena sitafanya kazi. Lakini ukinipa nafasi, nikiona ile inaenda kombo na kuja kwako, kushauri. Nikiona ile inaenda sawa sawa, tunaendelea mbele. I want us to go extensively into this message that uh, Oparanya delivered right on William Ruto's face because there is something uh, to that message that we need to also look at. But before you do that, please like this video. It's so important. If you like this video, I'm so grateful for everyone who has been liking our videos. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed before and to existing subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. Oparanya has decided that He's going to do is not going to do things the way people like uh Aisha Jumwa used to do. People like uh Kithure Kindiki or rather people like Mithika Linturi. People like Susan Nakumicha. How they used to do things. You remember the trio that I've just mentioned their names, you know, they worked under the directives of status. Like for example, uh, Mith uh, Mithika Linturi his docket at one particular time some of the roles there were, were assigned to regard gachagua meaning he could not execute certain things without involvement of regard gachagua if you look at the issue of coffee and the tea business all those they fall under agriculture but then these were given uh, to regard gachagua so also if you go to the issue of aisha jumwa Publicly, Aisha Jumwa had disappeared completely. That's why her docket was not being felt by Kenya. So that's why when uh, names started circulating about people to be fired, her name was one of the most uh, recommended ones. Oparanya keeps on delivering messages to William Ruto. Thus, it's upon William Ruto to see whether he's going to, di to, 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 to digest these messages and probably do things accordingly. Or Ruto is going to continue with this micromanagement style. You know, everybody has his own way of doing things. People prefer being micromanagers, you know. But there are people like uh, the former president, Moi Kibaki, who has been praised by so many people who worked under him that he allowed people to work. He never micromanaged the ministries. So that's why you find that with uh, Ruto's regime, the opposite is what is being experienced that these days your ministry you are appointed as a cs but things are done you know uh, the other way around so that you are a minister but most of the things which happen there that is why you find that uh, i tend to agree with the, the former treasurer cs Ndungu, because he wrote a book there of difficulties which he fell he faced in uh, the treasury and also made some recommendations there about that also so we're also seeing a scenario in treasury where uh Mbadi talks about re reduction of uh expenditure in terms of uh paying advisors and then we see more advisors being brought in to the state house like the case of uh Moses Kuria, and we talked about it in the previous analysis. And also, you ask yourself, why do we need a chief, assistant chief of staff? Why do we need that docket to do what, to do what actually? That's why you find that after John Buddy also made his own statement, and we did an analysis on this in the previous video uh, you shared yesterday. And a statement from Buddy which was meant to cut cost on our expenditure, Ruto did the opposite. So it, in a nutshell, Oparanya seems to be saying in very few words that the idea of micromanagement does not sit well with him. So it's upon William Ruto to make a choice whether he's going to let them work 
or is going to control them to do things according to his expectations or according to how he wishes things should be done so this is to me like a bombshell but ruto took it <laughs> you know you have to take it like a man but that is the message which was delivered by oparanya so ladies and gentlemen i'd like to rest my case there but what do you think about this statement that keep on coming from oparanya oparanya keep on telling william ruto about why you know eyes shiko mkono yo kishiko mkono kila saa ukiamba twende huku na shiko mkono twende hivi so that means you are the head but you are shown where to or how to do things which is not the way it's supposed to be done you know these css are managers of those tokens uh, when you're appointed a cs the expectation is that you are going to deliver based on your knowledge and also if you have any difficult that's when you consult with the president that is the way it's supposed to be according to paranya but according to william samaru that is not the way it's supposed to be he wants to be at par with everything that works in all ministries that's why you find that sometimes ago i think last year he told those ministers who were during the contract signing that if it gets to a point where by him i mean william ruto knows things about a particular ministry and the cs there does not know about those things that it means there's a problem that meant that ruto has insiders there i find that many of you the people i speak to don't even know what is going on in your ministries or departments you have very scanty information the moment i know more than you in your ministry then you must begin to understand that something is very wrong because by constitution you are supposed to advise me explain to me how you are going to advise me if you have less information than i do who is going to be advising who i call many many pss you ask them what's going on here they have no clue and this is your department that is the job that you have you are not a messenger you are not a security person you are not a photographer you are not a watchman you are the ps or the minister and the job of the minister and the ps you don't know or you don't have information how how do you run a ministry or that department or a parastatal if you have no information that is the highest level of incompetence so please take time read there's a lot of literature on your desks there's a lot of briefs from departments there are a lot of briefs from all manner of places read i take time myself to read because it's the only way you can have the correct in information for you to be able to make the right decisions you can never i promise you you can never make the right decisions if you do not have the correct information it will all be a game of guesswork so ladies and gentlemen perhaps if you watch this video and do not subscribe take one second and subscribe like this video until you catch up again stay safe and stay blessed